Hey everyone, this is Bilal Kurd, and in this video, I'm going to talk over a particular topic of A2 Business 9609 that goes by the name SWOT and Pest Analysis, a part of strategic management, specifically strategic analysis that features in the A2 Business case study exams and usually is tested for a straight 20 mark question. So the paper I'm going to use, the past paper that I'm going to use for reference in this particular video is going to be October, November 2014, paper 32, that goes by the name Ting, Tim Tang Corporation, as you can see in the video as well. And the question that I'm going to solve is question number six, an advice that I have given to students in the past number of years and even in several videos of mine that is always advisable to go through the questions first so that you get an idea as to what you're going to decipher from the case study and you avoid wasting time the reading that you do in the case it's it becomes constructive because you know what information to extract for application and for obviously formulating and developing your arguments so what we are going to do is we are going to jump right to the questions and the question that i am going to cover in this particular case study is going to be question number six that straightforward asks you to evaluate the usefulness of the information in appendix one and in appendix two to tc's strategic analysis now you'll have to break the question the question asks you to evaluate now, obviously, the key term here is evaluate, which means that you would have to, it would be beneficial if you want to give your viewpoint in the end. Therefore, it can count as a strong evaluative commit. But nonetheless, whenever there's a question that asks you to evaluate the usefulness, you'd have to be two-sided in your answers. You have to mention the extent to which its usefulness would be at risk or would be impaired which actually means that you have to mention the limitations as well of the information in appendix one and appendix two to teach to tc strategic analysis and if we see the appendix one and appendix two appendix one as you can see covers SWOT analysis for tc and appendix two covers the pest analysis for tc right whenever there's a question on SWOT and pest there are basically two approaches the examiner is either likely to give you tables in the case they are going to have pointers in them telling you what are the likely strengths likely weaknesses opportunities and threats and likewise with pest as well another approach is the examiner doesn't give you that information and leaves it upon you to decipher it from the case which is even doable you just need practice and you would need to decipher the lines obviously strength would be an internal attribute that is helping the company to achieve its objectives so if there's anything for example the case study goes like the past has been significant for the company due to its excellent employer employee relations now this line implies that the success of the business has been built upon excellent employer employee relations so excellent employee employee relations employer employee relations is an internal attribute and it's actually helping the company to achieve its goal to steer the company towards success which obviously implies that it would be a strength this is how we understand by the language of the examiner and the extent to which it's helping a company to achieve its goals or it's inhibiting or slowing down a company from progressing then it's a weakness and if it's external it can be classified as an opportunity or threat so let's come back to the case we know the question we have even analyzed that okay fine that there are appendices in the case study that's mentioned as well now what we need to do is we need to extract information that would be very 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 decisive to our answer in question number six i'm going to start off with the case obviously i'm going to skip some information you can give this case a detailed reading at home and it's particularly beneficial if you have the case right now and you go through the case study just as i am going in the fiercely competitive world of consumer electronics TC has experienced rapid sales and profit growth in recent years. Food for thought. Always remember to identify the industry in which the business operates. It clearly states in the fiercely competitive world of consumer electronics. This means, this means that the industry in which TC operates is dynamic. It would change. 
with competitors coming up with new and new features with respect to their cell phones and we all know that the industry that is driven by technology often involves businesses to focus on prime factor that is innovation and whenever an industry is driven by innovation the extent to which a business can update itself its resources it's basically a cutting edge factor leading towards you leading you towards the success so this line implies in the fiercely competitive world of consumer electronics that is a dynamic market tc has experienced rapid sales and profit growth in recent years now we'd have to see as to why tc has been led towards you know sales and profit growth in recent years especially given the nature of the industry and whatever factor we can analyze as a benefactor that has actually led towards the success can stand out as a strength for tc as well the success has been built upon substantial research and development spending there you go the case study states that the success is because of the fact because of the experience that can be attributed to your research and development personnel which implies that it is a core competence helping tc especially considering the dynamism of the market and let me give you another insight whenever you talk about sort or pest these models given other models of strategic analysis and choices well these models are never meant to be static which means that they should not just be used for one particular point in time they should be updated regularly because obviously just like as a as a human being your strengths your weaknesses change you sometimes conquer your weaknesses you sometimes develop new weaknesses likewise in businesses strengths weakness opportunities and threats change your employees may be motivated at a particular time but then again your new policies might drive off your employees might cause frustration and might you know stir a revolution from the trade unions and what 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 was classified as a strength in the past may be now classified as a weakness so your strengths and weaknesses and your opportunities and threats they keep changing so if you're operating in a market that's already dynamic this would imply that your strengths and weaknesses or your opportunities and threats would change by a greater proportion so therefore it is a greater need to keep yourself updated with respect to these models sort and pest so that you basically avoid the risk of these models being outdated and your decision making to be poor as well all right so i'm going to continue that the success has been built up on substantial research and development spending which implies that this is the strength this has allowed the co the company or the business to develop a range of advanced cell mobile phones and tablet computers that are market leaders all right the strategy of product differentiation has helped establish the tc brand as one of the most valuable in the global consumer electronics market tc is right to understand that the market leadership the corporation has achieved could change in future because competitive rivalry is growing now then again go back towards sort strength weakness opportunity and threat if you talk about competitive rivalry it's not an internal attribute it's, a, it's external and if the competitive rivalry is growing this might challenge your current market leadership your current position and might stop you from achieving your objectives so therefore this can be classified as a threat all right in the next paragraph it's actually giving you information as to how the competitive rivalry is increasing i'm going to give you a small summary of it it's basically tc the manufacturer of mobile phones does not sell its mobile phones directly to consumers it what it does is it basically sells its mobile phones to multinational retailers or cell phone operating service operating companies just like we have mobile link and zong and varit here in pakistan so those companies or those multinational retailers then send it or sell it sorry to the consumers so this basically imply that tc is right now using a single intermediary channel and obviously this has caused the establishment of long term customer relations to be difficult because tc does not have a direct contact with customers it has to go to the customers through multinational retailers or cell phone service operating companies so then again this ha this is causing problems this can stand out as a weakness as well poor communication or poor contact with customers directly which is very very important considering that the market you operate in 
Then again, there is a paragraph that goes by the heading financial efficiency. One more time, I'm going to just extract the information that is relevant to us because this information is required in another question as well. So we are just going to extract information that can help us with respect to sort and pest. You don't need to repeat the information that you would have used in another question. It's being asked in another question as well. So we make sure that we avoid the summary or the main point that you can extract from this paragraph is that there has been an a strong a very strong problem of poor communication and the problem of poor communication has basically existed between the research and development department and the production scheduling team what has happened is that the research and development department had suggested that 3g phones are getting outdated and therefore we need to divert our production to 4g phones so production scheduling department basically stood half of the message they understood half of the message and what they did was they started developing 4g phones but obviously since this understood half of the message they did not cut back on the production of 3g phones because obviously if your technology is outdating you'll try to cut back on the previous model and make more of new so they started making more of new but they didn't cut back on the previous models and therefore they are now left with a batch a large batch of previous models that are being very difficult to be sold in the market so then again there is a problem of poor communication now apply your concept of sort is poor communication an internal matter or an external matter it's an internal matter will poor communication help us to achieve our objectives or will it hinder us slow us down from achieving progress it will slow us down which implies that it is a weakness all right so then again we move on there's another paragraph that talks about tc's possibility to co consider outsourcing in order to reduce its variable cost of production but it then again it's a good opportunity but it, then again it continues to say that the directors are considering the impact of continued outsourcing on the company's ethical reputation and own employees as well which implies that this opportunity might come with a strong set of drawbacks that tc's managers would have to handle later on as we move on there is another paragraph that shows us that the turnover of managers at record high now there's another question question number five that is on labor turnover itself so i'm not going to go in details just like i have covered the main points in the previous prior paragraphs as well what i'm going to tell you is that tc is basically having a big problem of management turnover labor turnover and the problem is if you read this paragraph the staff that is basically the prime staff that you have the management staff is classified in the number range of 3500 and those 3500 people are basically leaving now the case study fails to mention which of this staff which of the staff belongs to the research and development department or the marketing or the operations or whatever department the case study fails to tell you that amongst those 3500 what's the hierarchy because obviously if you see production staff that is relatively unskilled if you see production staff which is on a daily wage production staff leaving they're easily replaceable they can be replaced so it wouldn't cause that much of a harm to the company in running its operations but if you talk about research and development now that is a department that has basically contributed towards the success of this business and if that staff was meant to leave the company, it would rob the company of its competitive advantage. Yes. So therefore, this can be a potential weakness and can be classified as later on as a threat as well because if the trade unions are not happy with this and they are strong with respect to their power, which is then again an absence of information, it can set up a, re a revolution putting TC's current affairs at risk. The next paragraph that we have accept new offer, it's not relevant to us right now with respect to our question or I'm not actually making use of it. It might be relevant though. Strategic options, own shops or defense electronics. Now the paragraph states that shareholder pressure, shareholder pressure, then again a threat on TC's directors for further increases in dividends and share price and has encouraged the board to do a strategic analysis. See appendix one and two. As a result of this analysis the board is considering the following two strategic options for future growth or for further growth these would involve different degrees of risk all right as well as different management skills okay now let's see the appendix the options that we have and then we'll move on to the appendices as well strategic option one open own retail outlets now we are actually what we are doing is tc what tc is doing is tc is basically overcoming the problem 
that was caused by TC not having a direct contact with customers. Because if you remember, the TC used to sell its products, its cell phones through multinational retailers. And now it's trying to open its own retail outlets. And there are details that have been given open shop selling only TC's products, offer full range of TC products, so on and so forth. The strategic option two that we have is diversify into defense electronics. And if you talk about diversifying to defense electronics, you will basically have government as your major customer. So you are actually moving from a B2C market to a B2B market. You're not actually moving, you're expanding to a B2B market. Now, then again, the case study tells you that this would involve different degrees of risk, which is pretty much self-explanatory because of the fact that B2B market is something that you've never done before. And likewise, you haven't even opened your own retail outlets. Then again, it's risky as well, but still, you know, your customers to a certain extent. But right now, if you talk about strategic option two, you would need to consider market research, man, because you don't know your customers as such. Your, your client is basically the government and it would involve several implications. You might even need to reconsider your ethics as well. So the strategic option two is that you diversify to defense electronics. I'm going to read a little about this. Use competencies in communication technology and tracking technology to develop cell phones and other equipment for defense forces. Establish defense equipment marketing. Develop close links with the government departments responsible for defense purchases. All right, so we have a B2C option that is option one and a B2B option that is option two. Now we move on to the appendices that we have. I'm going to talk about SWOT in this video and it, you can use the same structure as well when it comes to best appendix appendix one that is basically the SWOT analysis for TC covers strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats and if you see the strengths that we identified have been mentioned in this particular appendix such as a strong R&D experience such as TC being a market leader all right and if we talk about the weaknesses there can be seen the weaknesses as well. Management, labor turnover, management turnover is high. Then again, there are, there are problems of poor communication that can be seen. So the examiner has given you the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. How would you answer this particular question? I'm going to refer back to the question. Evaluate the usefulness of the information in Appendix 1 and Appendix 2 to TC strategic analysis. Always remember whenever you are given appendices like these, you always see two things. When was this particular mode of analysis conducted? Have you been given the date? Because the case study mentions that the board was encouraged to do the strategic analysis, but the time is absent. In which year? Because then again, if you remember what we discussed at the start of the video, that these models can frequently become outdated. So if the time frame is not given to you, if the exact date is not given to you, that would obviously mean that the usefulness of such models of analysis would be impaired. So that's a strong evaluative comment that you can mention in your answers. Not just this, but you can even go on mentioning who particularly conducted this these forms of analysis because SWOT is highly subjective. If the board conducted this analysis, but the board, let's say, is driven majorly by the marketing department owing to their persuasion skills, this model of sort might be biased because what may be a strength for marketing department may not be a strength for finance department. A marketing department may feel proud on the excess sales level of the company, but the finance department might criticize it and might tell the marketing director that this is not a strength. Why? Because you have given so much discounts that it is hurting our cash flows. So what may be a strength for the marketing department may not be a strength for finance. There are different perspectives. All right, so you need to you need to see for two things who conducted this analysis and when was this analysis conducted highly, highly, highly important. So once you're done with these two questions that you have to assess the appendices against. Let's move on how you're going to answer from a particular paragraph. First of all, I recommend that you start off with the definitions of sort and pest in your first paragraph in your answers. And once you have you've covered the definitions the main body how would you form a paragraph of sort and pest that actually includes a knowledge application analysis and evaluation as well before i dive down into the details i'm going to explain you the marking to some extent in a 20 mark question knowledge stands for three marks application three marks analysis four marks and evaluation has basically the greatest weightage and that is 10 marks what i would advise my students I would advise a particular layout that is not mutually exhaustive 
and that is not a means to an end that it's that it's the only way to solve a particular question if you have a certain method of answering on your own perfect you carry on with that all right what i tell the students my students in particular is a particular format and that is number one you identify the strength that you see then you go on mentioning why is it a strength for tc then you assess how will it help in achievement of either option one or op option two then you go on mentioning what difficulty can the business face in retaining that strength and last but not the least you try to link a relevant limitation of sort that is well applied of course onto the case and you do the same with weaknesses as well all right one strength and one weakness can suffice if you continue in this manner let me give you an example first of all let's say we pick the strong rnd experience that we have all right this is a strength so first we have mentioned that okay fine tc has research and development as a strength why is it a strength it was covered in, in the very start of the video because research and development department has basically provided the company with a cutting edge technology and that has led towards the market leadership that the company right now shares so it has been a source of competitive advantage of core competence that is the reason why is is it a strength for tc in particular we have even applying it onto the case now how will it help in either option or option two why do i say this because the board had conducted the strategic analysis exclusively to determine the strategic options that it would have that is strategic option one and strategic option two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick strategic option two because we have more application of research and development department in strategic option two as compared to strategic option one which i believe because we are basically going to utilize the benefit of cutting edge technology and that can be seen in strategic option two diversify into uh, defense electronics the first pointer use competencies in communication technology and tracking technology to develop cell phones and other equipment for defense forces all right how would research and development department help us in this since we have a cutting edge research and development department it would help us to develop the right obviously with the help of marketing department it would help us to develop the right thing that is needed by the defense forces because obviously you need tracking technology as well so research and development might be able to develop a cell phone might be able to develop an equipment for example that can allow for greater access greater access for location greater proximity uh, when it comes to location greater gps coverage so research and development department along with working with marketing department can help to minimize can help to minimize the initial risk that tc will face because considering that the tc is entering this market for the first time there is going to be a significant risk and tc has no experience whatsoever so research and development department is going to help tc minimize that risk of failure and not lose its competitive advantage not lose its market position so this is how research and development would help us in option two now once you have written this you now need to write or evaluate as to how tc would find it difficult to retain this particular strength of research and development department obviously this will come at a cost research the department of research and development would have employees that are highly skilled and the employees would know that the company depends on them and if those employees were to leave there are two problems number one tc would lose its source of competitive advantage and number two the competitors would gain tc's obviously the trade secrets that again is very disadvantageous considering the nature of the industry so what difficulty would you face generally is the high expense of payroll and to keep such staff motivated as well so that is something that would count as a difficulty in retaining this particular strength the research and development department strength and now what you can do is you can mention an overall limitation of sort or pest in your answer sword specifically right now because you're talking about sword and uh, the, the limitation that is well applied for example you can talk about the very the very fact that the case seems to be absent with respect to when was this analysis conducted in the first place and now you're going to mention it why is it a limitation for tc because had it been provided had the data be provided 
it would have been easier to assess whether these models will be suitable for the current or for the future growth prospects because the nature of the market that industry uh, the nature of the market that tc operates in is highly dynamic and outdated models won't do much good to tc so this is basically your, your paragraph the structure of one paragraph i'm going to recap it a little you identify the strength of research and development you mentioned why is it a strength because it brought competitive advantage you you did go on mentioning how it will help option two in particular then you told about then you uh, did mention about the difficulty in retaining the strength the excessive payroll cost and finally you did apply a relevant limitation of sort as well what i would suggest is that you cover at least one strength one weakness <clears throat> and then you do the same with pest as well one factor from the political side or economical side or social or technological and one more from the entire category so two points of sorts two points of pest that would make four paragraphs of the main body with such structure and then a conclusion in the end and once you're concluding i can show you some sample evaluative comments that you can actually include in your answers much depends upon the extent to which these models are kept updated something that we've already discussed linked with market dynamism obviously this question will you will see this question being featured in several case studies so you have to identify the nature of the market then moving on both models are extremely essential to identify relevant and most important or optimal strategic options for the business why do you think sort and pest relatively has have a greater importance because obviously it has helped tc to conduct a very good self-assessment in order to assess what is happening, what is likely to happen or how the company can respond to the changes happening in the future. Then again, strategic analysis is the very starting is the very foundation that you lay down. If your strategic analysis is poor, it will lead to poor evaluation of choices. And then again, poor evaluation of choices mean, would mean poor or problems with implementing, implementing them, obviously. In the last paragraph or even in throughout your answer always always you can always mention the other models that you would require for example you might require the need to evaluate boston matrix and extensive market research because you have no idea about defense electronics equipment and likewise you do, don't even have an idea as to what customers usually have in mind when they come to shops because you've never opened a shop and option one involves you to open a shop something you've never done before experience and expertise of management is vital Considering uh, this particular case study, management has no experience whatsoever in either option one or option two, and assess room for internal management conflict, since this might limit usefulness. If the directors are not agreeing collectively on a particular decision and there are conflicts, so this might stir up internal management problems and therefore limit the usefulness of SWOT and PEST. Nonetheless, you can give an overall conclusive comment that these models have significant importance and are important to nearly every business that is having a proactive approach towards this issues and towards how the market that they operate in are changing to change themselves for the better in the future so i hope that this video of was of extreme benefit to you thank you so much